Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you are enjoying your day wherever you are. I've gotten up early to come and meet Simon to do another recce walk, um, which is a research walk for my walking group, Kent Outdoor Explorers. And of course we're not walking at the moment, but I wanna get a few new walks together so that when we are allowed to gather and walk, that there'll be a few new walks for the group. So it's very exciting, but it's a little bit grey today and um, we had beautiful weather on our last walk uh, so I think we're expecting a little bit of rain. I'm just waiting for Simon to turn up and then we will be having a lovely cup of coffee and have a look at our map and see the route today. So I'll show you now actually. So this is our route today. Let's just focus on the old mappy map there. So we're in Borough Green. Uh, this is all a bit rough because I haven't quite figured it out but uh, take this footpath here and head over to Oldbury Hill, which is there. And then work our way down to Item Moat, which is there. So we get to hopefully walk through the grounds of Item Moat, potentially along this footpath, but maybe just walk in a little bit and then back down onto the Greensand Way, which is beautiful. A few shipborne and then onto Dunk's Green, I think. There is a point that we're going to turn up, literally this map has our whole route <laughs> we're going to turn up come up here to old sour manor and then cut back across uh through Baystead and back up to borough green so that is our route 12 miles let's go simon and i are doing a little book swappy so these are some of the books that I'm offering as uh, we'd like to choose one of these this is an amazing novel if any of you are interested in epic journeys go for this one uh, Walker's Guide to Outdoor Clues and Signs always good to know what's going on this is very interesting um, it's all about like you know the structure of our villages and what is all behind all of our bits and bobs of culture and stuff like that and I haven't actually read this one <laughs> Um, so maybe Simon can. Oh, it's got his name on it. It's destined for him. This is the book that Simon has kindly lent me in praise of walking. And interestingly, I have actually heard a podcast with Shane O'Mara, um, which I'll find and I'll put a link in the description so you can listen to it all about how walking is good for us and why it's good for us and I heard him talking about this book so I'm very excited to read it and learn more about the science behind why we feel so good when we walk. It's June and it's torrential rain. I'm gonna put my camera away for a bit, but um, we don't normally get rain like this, do we? We don't. You but don't we need it. Yeah. Maybe not in right now. No, <laughs> we need it. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, it is forecast to rain all day, so I'm gonna put the camera away for a bit. But when we get to Item Moat, I'll bring you out again. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, thank goodness for that. That's a better view. The rain's eased off a little bit, so hopefully we can try and get into the grounds. And there's a footpath that comes in sort of over here somewhere. But at the moment, with it being locked down, quite a few of the uh, National Trust, which is what this property is under uh, uh, management by National Trust, um, are closed. So we're just gonna go and find out if we can get onto that footpath. It's closed, but you can get through. Okay. <laughs> so what does that mean? 
So the footpath is open. The footpath is open, yeah. That's how I'm reading it. Yeah, that's how I'm reading it too. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> have to excuse the watermarks on the lens. I can't do anything about that, it's still raining. We did not expect to be able to walk into Item Moat. Beautiful 14th century manor house, medieval uh, manor. That's, the, that's all the history you get in today. <laughs> yeah, we didn't expect that this footpath was open, but the gate was closed and then there was another gate next to it which would have been for the footpath and that was open. So here we are, we've got the whole place to ourselves. Nice little walk around. So item moat, it's got the moat around it. And uh, beautiful gardens. Um, but our walk actually, there are two options. We can just carry on going through and then through some farmland or we can just bring the group through here, have a look at item moat and then go back out and join the Green Sound Way, which is what I think we're going to do. So yeah, so far it's been a ridiculously wet walk uh, for June. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a novelty. Fancy a cup of tea and a scone? That'd be perfect. <laughs> oh no, it's closed. Oh. oh what are we going to do? Still hungry. <laughs> this is the ancient camera tripod here. <laughs> 14th century. Yeah. Uh, this is an oak and it could be a pedunculate oak or it could be a sessile oak. One has acorns which are attached to the stem on a stalk and the leaves don't have a stalk and the other one is the other way around. Mm. But the thing is we don't know which one this is. <laughs> Shall we find so out helpful. and then I'll put it on the screen now? Yes. So there's the leaves before and then the, the acorns are coming after? Yes and the acorns are on these stalks and the leaves don't have stalks. Mm. So we're walking through the village of Shibbon, not Shipbourne as I pronounced. And Bourne is the, the river Bourne. River. Yeah. Bourne means, river. means river. But there's one near Littlebourne, through Littlebourne and Patrick's Bourne, but it's not that one. No, that's the Nailbourne. <laughs> yeah, the Nailbourne. It's called the Bourne. It's called the Bourne. So We've got the local, the river, river. got the local guide here telling us about the features. This is the only view we're going to get today of the old Saw Manor. So that's a shame we can't get into Old Saw Manor. It's National Trust. 13th century? Something like that. Knights dwelling, which is very... Um, well, it's empty inside. The staircase. I haven't been in, Simon's been in. I have, years ago. Yeah, it's empty. Interesting. Yeah. Nice little feature on our walk anyway, but it's locked because of lockdown. Um, so we're just gonna, we're gonna stop there for lunch. We're gonna find another little lunch spot. But by the time I do this walk, we'll probably be able to go and have a little look.
Bye, Simon. The umbrella didn't work very well. <laughs> Lovely walk. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Finished the walk, back in the car and feeling fresh and happy, a bit tired in the legs. I think, it, I think overall it worked out about 13 miles, but I have to go and have another little check because it took a couple of different footpaths in different places. It rained a lot. First part of the walk was very heavy rain and then it stopped and it was nice and dry for the middle section and then it just started raining again now. So my feet are wet, as you'll remember, my boots need replacing. So, um, yeah that that was fun but i had waterproof trousers and so did simon so that's good um i hope you enjoyed following along uh, with this recce um i will put this recce on soon it could be like an autumnal recce hopefully um i do really miss the group walk so if any of you are watching and you are regular walkers with our group then um then i am missing seeing you and i am missing the walks a lot it's it's amazing to get out with simon he's become my little recce buddy um but i really do want to start the walks uh, very very soon i'm just waiting for any kind of government guidelines for group gatherings um so as soon as they say that we can get together in groups of more than 10 maybe or 15 um, and keep social distancing going um, then the group walks will be up and running and that is what I hope will happen soon and hopefully before the summer is out as well because it is such a nice time to walk um, in Kent. Thank you very much for walking. I hope you're happy and doing all right wherever you are. Let me know some of the walks that you've been going on wherever they are in the world. I'd love to know what you've been getting up to and um, I'll see you again very soon.